हाय चंद्रशेखर सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर ओके सो चंद्र सर वी आर हैविंग दिस सेशन टुडे एंड दिस इज अ सेशन फॉर सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग यू आर मेंटर ऑफ दैट एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड टू हाउ टू इंप्रूव द राइटिंग स्किल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर देयर अपकमिंग एग्जाम ऑफ कंट्रोलर जनरल पेटेंट डिजाइन एंड ट्रेड मार्किंग and as you are aware that uh, preliminary is cancelled and now again preliminary will be conducted and mains will also be there earlier also they gave only one month for the mains uh, as we also know that preliminary is only qualifying and after that mains and interview are the uh, main challenges for the students and in mains the conventional paper uh, subjective paper has 300 marks now uh, chandra sir not every student is uh, very good in writing skill so your pdia has started one writing skill module where we will help student to improve their writing skill and in my opinion that is going to help students to score uh, 30 40 more marks and that can create a huge difference now today my session with you is related to one of such you know question because students wanted to see that how this can be done and i think you have uh, you know improved one of the writing skill of one of the students yes, and sir. you gave him a question and then he wrote something and then you corrected it and then he again wrote then you corrected it then he again wrote so i think three formats you were uh, discussing with me so now i request you uh, chandra sir to tell us what was that question you gave to the student and uh, then first format what were the mistakes how many marks will you give and uh, what was the second format what was the improvement and the third format what was the improvement and also you can share with us how we can improve students further for that so over to you chandra sir what was the question you provided to the student thank you sir thanks for giving this opportunity actually sir uh, students will commit uh, mistakes while writing descriptive paper there are several kinds of mistakes general mistake is uh, technical mistakes but uh, as per my knowledge very less number of students will commit uh, an informal or technical mistakes most of the students are well equipped with technical knowledge but where we are mostly concentrated here is on their writing skill what is that writing skill where they will commit mistake i will i already conducted one such, such kind of exercise by giving one question to a student so mm-hmm. i asked him to improve it three times first time he committed some kind of mistake second time and third time so all those things i'm going to share with you i'm sharing my screen sir just i'm, I'm showing it to you the first version of the question what i given what he wrote so this is the question this is the question i given to him yes this question is from power system transmission so i given a question to write now he committed this chandra sir if this question is of how many marks tentative marks, marks how many this this question marks, huh? is tentative marks yeah so can you show the question once again so that student yeah. can uh, okay so this was the question from which part this question is power system transmission line part sir power system okay. so this is a sort of numerical uh, question numerical sir absolutely okay. mm. and I, as per my knowledge theory may student face even more problem numerical yes. mystery they are okay but in theory they face lot of problem yeah yes yes sir okay okay so okay. Uh, this is the question this is a solution given by the student so uh, in, that is the first time yeah first time for the first time this is the solution given by the student if we observe there are some rubbings on the paper so the mm. primary thing is there should not be any uh, rubbings like uh, you should not cross the hands of what he wrote that is the first thing and if you observe there is no proper utilization of the space see okay. uh, left side it is over utilized and right side it is less utilized that mm-hmm. is the second thing third thing is there are several equations there are several equations uh, if it is better if that student gives uh, numbering for each equation and if he is uh, describing each and every variable what he wrote in the solution that will be even far better Mm. that that is another mistake what he uh, what the student committed so mm-hmm. and after that if, if if we see the equation so only, only some equations are having description some other equations are not having description suppose for example mm-hmm. there is a, uh, a delta here there is a delta here here it described in the last power angle delta has mm-hmm. but if he does the same one in the starting of the solution that will be even more better. so these are the mistakes uh, what i observed in his writing this is the mm. first question sir now the question is correct and the numerical answer also he has attained answer, right? answer is also correct sir what mm. what the answer he given is absolutely fine but mm. the way he wrote is not uh, in a position to get full marks or good marks for him his so as per you though it is a numerical but he should have told that what a symbol he is using what equations he is to write spot proper space he is to utilize he is not to rub or criss cross he is not to do that handwriting should be legible those are the things you are saying right yes sir yes sir. his handwriting is also not that good in this one mm-hmm. so okay. in the second version he is he show some improvements for the first version of his writing i will be able to do six marks okay 
Okay, so out of ten, maybe if you give six marks to him. Huh? Six marks. Six marks. Okay, okay. Next. Let's go. Let's go to the second version. What he he wrote. In the uh -huh. second version of his writing, the question is same, and uh -huh. answer is also same. But if we see, there are no rubbings. The first improvement what he made in this answer is there uh -huh. are no rubbings uh -huh. in this answer and uh -huh. the entire answer. The second uh -huh. thing is that uh, he did not mention the equation numbers here also. He just uh -huh. uh, improved his writing style. He described. Uh -huh. Few of the variables again. Few of the variables mm. he did not uh, completely describe in this answer. So mm. this answer also I'll be able to give. They are not completely improved. Completely not improved. Equation numbers are not mentioned even here also. So there mm. are two equations V S and I S. He did mm. not mention the number of the equations. Why? Because he is utilizing the same equations in the last. If you observe uh, here, mm. V S is equal for a practical transmission line. Here V S is is using this equation. The, mm. uh, uh, the faculty who is going to cut the paper, he must know which equation he is using, where he is substituting. Mm. But uh, mm. that student did not did this one. So, so he has not written the equation of Vs. Is that what you are saying? Yes, sir. Mm. Equation of Vs he wrote, but he did not mention in which equation he is substituting. Equations okay, okay. are mentioned here, but he did not mention in which, which equation he is substituting the given data. So okay. again, I asked him, here also, there is no full utilization of the space. Completely space mm. is not placed. If you see, mm. right side, there are, there are some blank spaces, especially in the first page. The left side, it is used, but right side, it is not completely used. So I asked mm. the student to share, to write it and share it again. Then this is the final version. I found it as good. And uh, uh, this is the final version. See, see this, uh, to the second version of his writing, I'll be able to provide him seven months. Mm -hmm. his improvements. Now, if we mm -hmm. come to the third version, this is a third mm -hmm. version given by him. Now, here, if you observe, space is fully. Go at the top, uh, Chandra sir. Go at the top when you started. Yeah. Okay. Given yes, data receiving and voltage. Okay. This is what you have written now: receiving and voltage per phase. Yes. Yeah. Everything he clearly mentioned: receiving and voltage, receiving and voltage per phase, mm -hmm. receiving and power. So, for every variable, he given description. Mm -hmm. what, what variable is that? Then okay. he, he fully utilizes the space. Here, if you see in the second diagram and equation, okay. Yeah, here he wrote the equations just uh, beside the diagram. He given the number to the equations. That is very important. Uh, because mm -hmm. the examiner who is correcting the paper, he can't find the people in which equation he directly substituted. So if the numbering is given, it is easy for the examiner to find where and what he substituted. So this way, here he completely utilizes the space and uh, mm -hmm. he clearly mentioned in the last also he given uh, one mm -hmm. statement like uh, what he did, how he compared by comparing only he got this uh, uh, answer as delta is equal to 1.35 and sending it voltage as 165.2 kV. So this way, yeah. in the last version, he, uh, literally I can say that he improved a lot uh, from the first version. Mm -hmm. There is huge difference from first version to the last version. So in, yeah. uh, this, but this last version, I will be able to give him eight to eight point five marks. So with mm -hmm. this, in his uh, for for one question in his marks, so there will be two to two point five marks of change. Now we can imagine out of three hundred, there will be a difference of uh, thirty to forty marks. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So with 30 mm -hmm. to 40 marks, definitely his rank will be improved, his position will be improved. There are very good, uh, uh, I can say like a probability of, there is a very good probability of getting him selected in the mains examination. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Chandra sir, as per you, like uh, if we mention those kind of things like equations, proper space utilization, legible writing and everything, then one yes. to two marks difference can easily come per question, which is of 10 marks. So oh, sure, think of 300, there can be huge difference of 30, 40 marks and that can yes. make a big difference. So yes. can we come out of it, uh, Chandra sir, no? Uh, this yes. thing, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So typically one student, how many times do you think he should pop up uh, for this improvement? And you can suggest him, okay, every student has peculiar writing style, peculiar problems. How many times a student should pop up so that you can tell him, okay, these are the mistakes you're doing? So at least five to ten times he has to work with us. Then only he will be working because as it has to paper for different different types of questions, there will be different different ways of writing. As you okay. said in the starting, for theory question, one way of writing, for numerical question, one way of writing. There are some complete mm -hmm. derivations. Uh, where derivation has to be done in different ways. There are there will be some assumptions. The assumptions mm -hmm. has to be clearly mentioned. There, there are some, I can say, like uh, uh, considerations. Those definitely we have to consider those things. Without uh, considering mm -hmm. those things, we may not get the, the correct answer. So this way, for different different types of questions, different different types of things are there. At minimum, five to uh, ten times in the must work with the faculty. Then it is a very good for his uh, examination preparation. Okay, so let's let's help them, students, Chandra sir. Let's help students. Let's make them write more and more. Let's make them more do more practice and tell them where they need to improve so that at the end we uh, make a difference in their marks and yes. in their selection. So thanks yes. a lot for your time, Chandra sir. Look forward to uh, another interact with you along with the students now and help them in improving their writing skills. So thanks a lot and have a nice day, sir.
Thank you, sir. Thanks for this.